Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys what's in my travel makeup bag. I do have some trips coming up until the end of the year, so I wanted to do this whole dedicated video to show you guys what I'll be packing in my upcoming trips so you guys can refer back to it and I won't have to bore you guys with all the same details in my upcoming pack with me videos. I have done a what's in my bag video for this Goyard vanity bag a couple years ago, so I will also link that in the description box. But ever since then, I have added something new to this. I have this little bag organizer let's see if i can take this out yes so the whole thing comes out as you can see it has gotten quite dirty over the years so i feel like i should have gotten this bag organizer like back in the day when i first got it but better late than never right i got this organizer from samorga i think that's like one of the main brands that i would see when people talk about bag organizers and i think it's korean it was coming from korea the color is a pretty good match with the yellow inside That's my dog. <laughs> what is she doing? What I love about this organizer is that there's all these Velcro on the side. So if you don't want this to be like sectioned off like this, you can actually take this off. But for storing makeup and kind of keeping them organized, I think having these sections is really, really essential. So let's start off with this section right here. It's blinding. In here, I have two palettes from Tom Ford. The first one, is this it is the shade and illuminate um contour duo in intensity one it is basically their cream bronzer and cream highlighter and i keep pulling back because it is really really dirty and it looks very dirty i mentioned this in my sephora recommendations video because i have been loving this one so much mainly because of the highlighter right here it is the most like beautiful inner corner highlight and it's such a nice cream highlighter without really big like shimmer it's very natural on the skin i love this and then also the mirror it's so big and it's like a very nice quality mirror so i can actually see everything like all my pores so i've been loving this so i'm basically killing two birds with one stone because this will act as a highlighter and also a compact mirror that i'll be using when i travel and then this one is an eyeshadow quad this is number 31 sula Sob. it's fairly new i know i haven't really Really touched it because it's a little too pink for me so it pulls a lot of red so i was waiting for like the fall season to really really like wear this but overall the quality is amazing these three shades are all matte so they're really really easy to use and then this one is like a shimmery copper shade so when i'm in the mood for like a very fall like deep like warm tone makeup this is perfect this little guy right here is a travel size of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is my absolute favorite powder. I love this powder because it truly is translucent. There's no like white cast and flash photography. And also it really mattifies your face, your like T-zone, your eyes, like everything without making it too dry and cakey. At home, I use the full size, which I'm like running really low on. But for travel purposes, that packaging, you guys know, is really bulky, especially any loose powder. So this is really handy. And then this is a mini Chanel. I think this is my very first Chanel makeup item that I've ever bought. I don't even know if they still have this. But it is like a cream eyeshadow that is dried up and all like shattered now. But this is in the shade 97 New Moon. My friend back in college was the reason why I bought this because it looked so good on her. Every time we went out, she wore this and it was just so beautiful it's kind of like a cool tone like grayish pink like a mauve pink with silver glitter specks you can tell that it's kind of metallic right this is really really pretty with that Sula Saab, um quad from Tom Ford because they're all kind of in that pinky coppery tone you can kind of tell right they all have like a brownish undertone like warm brown this is just incredible it's kind of hard to use when you have really long nails it's like a warm brown and it has the most like beautiful glitter on the eyes at nighttime especially even in pictures like i would notice in some pictures i could see my glitter a bit it's so pretty it's shimmery and like glittery almost without being too much because the undertone is pretty light so this on its own is still so gorgeous so this is coming with me and then these three right here so the first one is 
my favorite blush at the moment and I think I'll just be using this until the end of the year this is the rose tan blush from Hermes it has a very like floral sweet rosy scent I would say this is my most ideal shade of blush kind of like a warm tone peachy pink it's actually what I'm wearing on my face today it might look a little orange but I think I love that it just glides on it's so easy to blend it literally lasts like all day it smells amazing and the design of course this off-centered pan and this I love and then I have two eyeshadow quads from Chanel this has been my absolute favorite mainly because of this shade right here you can see from the side how well loved this is it's like barely there this is number 266 to say essential and they are all satin like baked shadows and because of the sheen they look matte on the eyes without looking muddy and all the shades are very neutral almost cool tone brown so they're so good for like everyday use and then this quad I got last year it was part of that tweet tweed collection so it came with like a tweed pouch it was really really cute can you see like all the tweed detail they're so gorgeous so so cool they're also shimmery and like metallic they are perfect for the holidays but they are very warm tone that's why i haven't really been reaching for it because this year i've been kind of reaching for a lot of cool tone shades almost kind of like a neutral to cool but for the holidays and like real actual fall weather these would be really really good to have just to like keep my eyes look really chocolatey dark and just deep so i'm bringing this with me as well and then let's move on to this back side there's also pockets in the back too so i can just put little things like this this is a brow powder duo from Anastasia in the shade Taupe. This has literally been the only thing I use for my brows with like that angled brush from Anastasia. It's basically eyeshadow but a little bit more waxy. That's why it goes on really well on your brows and stays that way the entire day. And I love that there's two shades. So sometimes I would pick a product from the middle line so I get both shades or focus on either one of them depending on where in the brow that you're trying to like fill in. And then these two are all from Hourglass. This is their eyeshadow product. Primer. This has been the only thing that I use. If you set it with the Laura Mercier powder, it is like bulletproof. It lasts all day, even in like the hottest like summer days. And this is the Mini Vanish Concealer from Hourglass. I featured this in my Sephora haul. I got it in the shade Cotton. And I used the smallest amount today for that eye bag line that I get. And that leads to the same concealer in the full size. These are my absolute favorite concealer of the year. Now I have this in four shades. So that's just shows you how much I really really like this. I have the shade Cedar and Fawn. Fawn is like a light medium with a yellow base and Cedar has like a peachy undertone. So it's really good for like under eyes or any like spots that may look a little gray. And then for mascara, I have two. The first one is this Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. It is really bulky. This one isn't super volumizing but it's really good for lengthening your lashes. So I really love this for my under eyes and it really does coat your lashes like one by one very thinly. So it's easy to work with but for my top lashes i need a little bit more volume and this is literally like my ride or die this is probably my 10th one l'oreal lash paradise right now i have the waterproof one i really don't have a preference i've used the blackest black brown black waterproof non-waterproof they're all great they are so amazing like hands down the best mascara drugstore plus designer like all combined in my opinion and then for lash primer i have the dior one which i love i mainly use this for for my lower lashes this with the unlocked um, hourglass mascara such a good combo and then this is something i got from italy it is a cream eyeshadow this is kind of like an in-between like very easy on the go like cream like liquid eyeshadow let me swatch it here i don't want to do it on my hands because it's such an intense color you can see looks like poo <laughs> it's a dark 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 chocolate brown with like gold specks it is beautiful and i love the packaging it looks like a silver pen and then this is a brow mascara from charlotte tilbury i think yeah sometimes there are some like stubborn empty spots on my brows that i just can't fill in 100 percent with the brow powder so i need something a little bit sturdier and more foolproof so that's why i'm bringing this brow gel and then this is my absolute favorite lipstick it's from hermes in the shade rose tan so it's basically a matching set with the blush i have raved about this lipstick so much it is the best formula ever it's matte it's not dry it is so hydrating it goes on so well the color is like such a universally like beautiful shade and then this 
is a multi balm. It's like a blush balm stick thing from Oleo Yelso. The ingredients are really good. The color is amazing. This is for when I go into like really really cold areas where my face would start to feel like it's cracking like tokyo last year i feel like at that point any powder product can worsen it or worsen the feeling of it so i'm bringing this as a backup and the only thing remaining is the bottom little section this is the holy sun from agent Natur. i've mentioned that brand so many times i even have like a dedicated video on them this is one of my favorite skincare brands ever and i take all my supplements from them as well this is one of their newest launches it is their tinted sunscreen with spf 50 i have it in the shade almond but it's a little bit too peachy and dark so i've been mixing that with this this is the chanel Le beige touche de ton it has a pump it also has those beads and a spring at the bottom so you can really see how much product is left every time you use it these two together create the most flawless thin base these two work for me because i would rather have a really thin base and then go in with a concealer for any discoloration or redness than go in with a very cakey like thick foundation to begin with that's why these two with the hourglass concealer are like match made in heaven this is the contour powder from wake make it's a korean brand that i've been loving in the shade soft cool it's basically gone i've been using this every single time i do my makeup for my nose contour and then like my jawline and then for bronzer i go in with the too cool for school bronzer but mine has shattered completely and i'm basically out of it so if i don't replace it by the time i go on my like holiday trip i might have to bring my old like trusty old hula bronzer i just can't travel with that anymore like the powders are everywhere like it is not travel safe i mean even this hula bronzer is like basically gone but it's better than my too cool for school bronzer and then i have this eyeshadow palette from holika holika i think yeah this is in the shade button up it's also a korean brand i love every single shade but every time i do my makeup i always need a base color for my eyes and it's always like this kind of color like a medium neutral light brown i always start my eye makeup with that so this is my daily shadow and then i can deepen up with this there's also this like metallic shade so i just cannot go anywhere without this so has to come with me and then the rest are lip products this is a lip balm from la roche posay yeah this is really good but normally i would bring my aquaphor i just can't find any right now and then my three ultimate like favorite lip glosses of the year two chanel and one dior this is the lip glow oil in number one pink i started off with the rosewood one but i feel like this goes better with the hermes blush that i'm bringing so i'm packing this but lately i've only been wearing this one the chanel 804 this is such a pretty shade my very first love was this the 726 icing i even have a backup of this this creates the most beautiful like milky pink the kind of shade we were into like five six seven years ago but i do need something like this when my eyes are a little too brown too dark and like too heavy this really balances it out but for every day 804 is like the way to go it is so pretty you can barely tell i have anything on it just gives you a little bit of like a pink tint very similar to this but a little bit milkier if that makes sense the consistencies and like the wear of all these glosses are just top notch so i know i can rely on these and then my last item is this chanel compact mirror i love this thing you guys know i bought three of them this the pink one and the red one but i really only reach for this one so that's everything that's in my travel makeup bag this is pretty much everything that i'll be bringing with me in my future travels i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions down below and i will see you in my next video bye